Jerry Dimmings is getting ideas on how to possibly solve the affordable housing crisis in Central Florida. The National Low Income Housing Coalition recently ranked the Orlando metro area the worst in the country for available affordable housing. The Mayor's Housing for All Task Force just wrapped up a design workshop on affordable housing projects. Spectrum News 13's Matt Fernandez was at that workshop for the final presentations. He's joining us in the newsroom. What can you tell us? Quite a few designs were presented to the group, and the Housing for All Task Force will use some of these ideas as they put together a final plan. Orange County is working on its housing situation and trying to make the area more affordable. Phyllis Gibbons has lived in the Pine Castle community in Orange County for 30 years. I think they are a little high in this area. Are we in a housing crisis? We are in a housing crisis and um, something needs to be done about it. Something is being done about it. Vargas says currently around one third of the homes in Orange County are cost burdened. A number of organizations including the University of Florida City Lab students and young architects working with the county to find solutions. We have two ones, we have the group's focused on designs for affordable housing in three areas in Orange County, Pine Castle, Holden Heights, and Taft. Enhance a sense of community while continuing to grow the community. Townhomes, you can have accessory dwelling units, you can have courtyard housing that are smaller footprints that create common spaces in between, uh, all nestled into these areas of opportunities within the established communities. The ideas for all three communities will be used for affordable housing plans throughout the county. And the Housing for All Task Force will be working to put together a plan. The final recommendations will be presented to the county board towards the end of the year. In the newsroom, Matt Fernandez.